Hello. Um, hello, Rodrigo. Hello, hello Deborah. Uh, we are here now with uh, Rodrigo Demetrio. He's going to be presenting the session Building Beautiful and Profitable Websites. How Motic turns your webflow into a growth machine. So Rodrigo is a marketer and developer with 20 years of experience in the MarTech industry. He is the creator of the Brazilian uh, Maltique Brazil community on Facebook back in 2015. And he also had the organization of our in-person event last year, Malt Conference South America. Uh, he describes himself as a hands-on professional who is interested in actionable marketing strategies. So he's the current uh, head of marketing at Bureau Works, and I'm going to leave the, the floor to him. It's all yours, thank, Rodrigo. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everyone. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here today. Uh, hello, Medley. Uh, hello, everyone. It's, it's a pleasure. One more year uh, among such, such brilliant uh, people here. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and I hope I can bring some value. I was in doubt about this topic because basically I'm sharing a CMS, uh, which is Webflow, uh, and, and, and they aren't uh, open source. But basically what I'm going to share, we can implement in every CMS, WordPress, Joomla, and, 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 and Drupal, it's basically, all CMS that allows uh, uh, that allow uh, copy and paste code, we can implement this automation that I'm going to share. Well, let me share my screen here real. Uh, first, I would like to ask to everyone uh, who is here uh, in our session, uh, if which tools, which CMS are you folks are using? If you uh, are using just WordPress or Drupal, or well, feel free to share your your preferred platform here. And while I'm sharing my screen here, screen one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, mostly WordPress, WordPress, and Jose, it's Drupal. Oh, great, awesome. Well, I'm not trying to convince anyone to move to Webflow. It was just, you know, I'm a Mautic uh, 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 member since the very beginning. And I always try, uh, I, I keep thinking how I can create new content and bring new audience to Mautic to market community and webflow it's a, a a big player in our in our scenario and they i was checking they have almost 4 million users so why not you know why not maybe create a content where webflow users they can explore and 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 get to know Mautic. so that was my first intention um Light show. Let's see. Okay. Well, all good. So, well, my agenda today is basically it's to share a little bit my 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 history with Mautic, share a Mautic plugin that we are creating, and and understand if anyone would like to download. We 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 will uh, we will provide an open source version soon. Uh, but as soon as you uh, uh, anyone decided to download, just uh, send me a message, then I can share the plugin. Well, we are not covering anything re related to design. Uh, we we understand who uh, use Webflow use they have uh, uh, they tend to prefer and they uh, they are a platform they focus on designers so and we are not covering that we are just covering a, a, this this growth machine and 
I've been working with growth for the last, I think, 18 years and in a leadership position at least for 10 years. And of course, when we talk about growth, it's a much broader uh, area. Uh, here today, we are going to cover just uh, content, just content. And inside content, we are going to cover just webinar automation. Um, and the first question is, why not use one of these popular platforms like Zoom, WebEx, Webinar Gen, Click Meeting, and because all these platforms, they have webinar automation capabilities. So why not use their landing page creation, their uh, email message, email reminders? And I'm going to, to open this uh, conversation about this topic. But before, I, I would like to show a little bit my, my history. It's Well, I started in Mautic in 2015 when I messaged, uh, I messaged uh, David Hurley, it's the founder. And since then, I've been changing messages, messages and messages and, and creating new t-shirts and going to events with our t-shirts and many meetups, big and small meetups, developers conference, well, uh, uh, a lot of uh, big events in Brazil, WordPress events. So Aquas events, and this is our last event here in, in Brazil. It was a blast, I would say. Uh, I'm so happy to, to have joined this group, and I hope our group uh, is still uh, keeps the same pace. I'm eager to see how far we can go now with this new format with, the, uh, with Root uh, leading us. Uh, well. That's it. And sharing a little bit about my professional side, uh, Powertic, uh, uh, I'm one of the founders together with Luis. And Powertic, basically, we created a way how you can copy a code and paste in your digital ocean, uh, uh, Amazon, and whatever server, and install uh, many uh, marketing apps. So it's a way we are thinking how to help marketers with this code part. It's just one code copy and paste and you can install Mautic, NHN, and many other solutions uh, with with Mark. Yeah, it was really fun here, Madeline, yeah. Um, well, and we created a Mautic plugin. It's, uh, we will uh, share the project in a few weeks. I've been testing. With, with some clients, basically, let me share, let me go live here just to share a little bit for those who would like to, to test and use our CRM. Of course, it's not a, a full CRM, but you have many, many capabilities like many other CRMs you can create. You can click, drag and drop, and that update here, update here, you can mark as one, uh, you can well it has many or well, you can mark mark as on as uh, lost uh, and automatically change everything here you can add new items here you, let me say code add and you can uh, select who is the contact that would like to to connect the Mautic contact to this opportunity, uh, connect to this deal, uh, save and close, and it brings, and then I can click here and open this contact profile. Well, I can add uh, a value here. For example, uh, it's a 2000, uh, and everything uh, updates automatically here in this dashboard, and when I, I mark for example as a one it changes automatically everything here and my conversion rate and everything and you can create as many pipelines as you would like uh, and also you can add you can add uh, we have uh, actions that we created in in the campaign canvas 
you can add automatically new new deals you can change uh the value in a deal well uh, just let me know who would like to to test this plugin uh, then i will send all the files well let's back to our web flow presentation that's our first reason right uh, <clears throat> like i said uh, i'm not going to share anything related to design just about about growth machine and i would like to take one step back here because uh, as a marketer leader uh, and and I've been living open source for the last I don't know 18 years I think and I, I see how how our industry uh, we tend to always uh, suggest open source and sometimes we we tend to to suggest an open source project instead of uh, one good platform that is not open source that could help our client uh, just to keep all this open source uh, stack which i think uh, it's it's good in some case uh, when you need of course you have some some privacy uh, 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 issue or some security reason, or uh, for sure we can we can create all this open source stack, uh, which is good. But I'm I tend to think that it's always better suggest the best in class to our clients. Uh, suggest the best chat, the best payment tool, the best CMS, the best. Uh, 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 su support system and that creates i think some kind of uh, limited mindset and i i like to connect multiple platforms and i don't care anymore if it's open or not of course uh, it depends on uh, it depends in, in every situation how uh, that that project will operate but usually i tend to recommend uh, other platforms uh, out of this this uh, uh, open source world, and why I decided to share this Webflow platform, and why I decided to share some 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 tricks how to use Webflow together with Mark with Mark, because basically, well, I'm in charge in a department that we we have today eight people, and we have to 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 produce around i don't know around around 30 articles new articles monthly four webinars multiple events uh, uh, in multiple platforms so in order to achieve this level of output we have to we have to create a framework what i call a, a growth machine and this framework is basically repeatable scalable and accessible where i can share with my ceo with my 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 pairs or with one of our our uh, employees so i have to share and it has to be easy to to change the that information and uh, so but the big question the company uh, i work for it's who holds the the ownership of the this this growth machine and uh, marketing maybe and my opinion it's everyone is responsible for growth so why i'm sharing that in a web flow presentation because basically when we think in our marketing stack with mauric and, and whatever other platform we have to think if we are creating a framework where it's it's uh, we are uh, allowing people to access the the information and and create their content and share their content in a way that create this this this, this dynamic uh, uh, in a fast uh, movement so so that's because i'm sharing uh, i'm taking this step back because growth is complex it's getting harder and harder to to grow a company nowadays so uh, uh, and, and of course i'm not covering all aspects of growth 
like uh, HR uh, uh, about product and other uh, aspects and just cover content distribution. For example, this week uh, uh, we launched a new newsletter using Substack. And I was in doubt if I would implement our newsletter using uh, with uh, Substack instead of Mauric because Mauric it's it's possible but the point is now my CEO he can he can create the whole post he can write the whole article in the Substack and I don't need to to touch anything it's the whole process I see my department my marketing department as a a provider of all these tools and best practices and and technology and assets design and everything to all departments help me to scale our our content distribution so in this way our it guys they can create content and everyone can create content so so that's why we 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 implemented substack instead of mauric in this newsletter and that's why i'm sharing how we created this process with webflow and and uh, and more so well i see marketing as uh, uh, responsible for process tools and, and training and best best practice instead of just creating new content real time every day we have i think my suggestion we have to to shift to a mindset where our marketing department is providing all this infrastructure and 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 and, and training everyone to access Mautic, to access all platforms uh, and in order to 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 all teams hr sharing our culture uh, and uh, it sharing our it stack and our best practices our customer servicing sharing their 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 uh, their uh, tips how to retain a client and things like that so i i say that it's a old way where everyone every department sent content to marketing in marketing is the one who uh, uh, who will who will create all this content it will will press the publish button and uh, that creates uh, 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 a lot of uh, a lot of tasks with marketing and what i'm suggesting here and that it's the the foundation of my my presentation it's marketing uh, and sorry for my illustration i created on mid journey and and then so marketing it's uh, my suggestion here in marketing help all other departments to 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 create content that it's my suggestion well and 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 today we had one event with the this tripo founder i, I don't know who who knows stripo it's a, a click and drag and drop a platform to create email templates and i like it because basically uh, his content uh, was very close what I'm 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 sharing here because uh, I think he calls uh, Dimitri he shared uh, a topic called how we can create models instead of creating every time new content so instead of uh, 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 he suggested invest more time in the beginning of the project where we create models and as soon as we we have all these these models we can just click and drag and select new models and that uh, 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 increase this this speed uh, in 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 the content creation so basically what i'm saying in part is exactly that instead of uh, it starts creating a lot of content uh, let's create all the process all the models and x and x uh, he shared it uh, in his presentation the same view uh, instead of using stripe he shared it using uh, our editor the grapes js and also it's a great presentation x it's a great presentation and dimitri also a great presentation so 
basically both presentation uh, it it had G's in common both they shared how is good how you can uh, speed up your content creation with these customizations and what I'm sharing here uh, this webflow integration uh, basically you can use uh, uh, it's the same thing uh, instead of creating one page one one page I'm, I'm going to share in a way where you can create a, a webinar machine yeah here's some some details about uh Dimitri presentation showing some some slide what i like it uh well let's go let's go back to our our uh, uh, uh our topic uh, so well getting back to this question why not use one of the webinar platforms like zoom webex webinar jam basically because i don't know uh which uh, of you uh, have already used one of these platforms uh, uh, and if you uh, uh, feel free to share please your your platform if you are using any of these uh, webinars platforms so, but basically all of them they always have something that is not that good related to design or or message or functionality it's always has something you would like to change for example zoom and uh, learning page it's not that good i think because uh, in some cases we would like to change some design aspects and webex it's by far in my opinion that i uh, i most dislike i would say and web webinar jam it's the one who has more uh, automation i think because and it's a great uh, and, and it's a, a a good platform but we decided instead of using one one off the shelf platform we decided uh implement all these webinar uh automation with webflow and mark so basically uh, and we decided uh, uh, use our CMS and now uh, it's uh, it doesn't matter if we are using Webflow or WordPress in, in this part because our intention is we we want to keep our experience the same experience we we designed so that was the reason why we didn't uh, uh, started our project with one of these platform so that was the first reason and I believe I believe I I strongly believe in how the competition is getting harder how web experience how our user experience it's it's fundamental uh, to get our client our our prospects attention so we invested a lot and keep just experience uh, uh the same experience in 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 our emails in our in our uh, uh, landing page so we can keep our our header the same header we we can keep our footer our colors and our buttons and uh, and and our css is the same if we change something uh, uh, anything so that it's it's great so let me share here uh well what we need in order to automatize a webinar uh, process what we need we need basically a landing page with a form we need a, a thank you page an email confirmation uh email reminder that you can create as many as you would like uh, uh, in our case we create just one but uh, uh, our met methodology methodology integrated with Mauric it allows to create as many as as you needed um, email after the webinar basically sending the replay video or or any uh, other information that uh, may be necessary and and also uh, for those who would like to improve this experience again the reason why we decided uh, implemented implement uh, using our own solution uh, this webinar solution instead of uh, uh, getting one of those it's because we can go uh, beyond the traditional features so one of features we we 
like it's uh, put this calendar edit to calendar button in, uh, then our 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 visitors our clients our our prospects they can uh, add the event in their calendar and i think that's very important uh, other big feature it's add a progressive profiling to the form where it allows our visitors as because we created we we were in doubt in the beginning if we would create just one form and as soon as they are registered and uh, we we would ask any more uh, any other question uh, in, in our other uh, events page. And then we decided uh, maybe ask uh, and maybe put a form in all events page because it's because every event it, it comes it, it comes with many automation that I'm going to share here. And because of that, we decided instead of just one form to centralize all of that, and we decided uh, uh, put one form in, in every landing page. Let me show live that. Uh, let me come back here. Okay, here we are. And in our website with Webflow or could be WordPress or whatever. And basically, and we are using a form and that's not a Mautic form here. It's a Webflow form. And then we send this data to NHN. And in our NHN, we send this data to Mautic with many odd, other data. And the, the, the point here, I think, it's because we created uh, on Webflow a way I don't know who is familiar with Webflow, but Webflow is basically a, a website builder. And we created what they call a CMS. And as soon as we need to create a new webinar, we click here. And then again, one person that doesn't have a, 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 a HTML skills or any other tech skill, they can fill it out all they can fill out all this form here and that will publish this new event here and that will create new emails on Mautic and 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 all and in this uh, form here after fill out this form uh, with all this information with zoom link uh, add it to google and replay video the webinars date description and as soon as they fill out all these 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 fields that will they don't need to create anything on Mautic because everything it's it's uh, 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 automatized basically uh, what uh, what we are doing here is adding a lot of uh, hidden content in this form and let's see if I find here all our here. We are adding the webinar name here. We are adding uh, the dates and the our our Zoom link, which is also a, a Mauric asset, a Mauric uh, asset, and that's good because if we need to change our Zoom room to another Zoom room, so so we can simply keep the same link and then and this link we send to our client's email uh, we are using uh, edit to google also it's a a, a mauric asset here that automatically when we copy here let me show here when we copy paste here then it redirects to add in our 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 calendar so with our zoom room here and more information here so then of course the first time when we created this this process to automatize our 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 webinars was a huge investment in time 
but as soon as we we have that our uh, i can i can delegate this task to create a new webinar for anyone so and and i, I don't need to create all these assets again in Mauric. All, all these email confirmation email reminder email after the webinar so so and and basically the way how we 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 did it was basically add, add, adding all, uh, many many hidden uh, uh, fields in this form and when a person submit this form it sends to nhn and after that nhn sends to to mauric and then i add all this content in, in, in a new email and and then everything it started based on on dates and reminders and everything so yeah my uh, my 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 goal here is to share with designers and i hope this presentation uh, we can put uh, on youtube uh, just to share with a uh, webflow community and, and and all other cms's communities how they can keep all their user experience colors headers everything exactly how they design it in all their their journey in all their their process so yeah, and then uh, that's pretty much what I was thinking to share here, this process. So, and I'd like to open for questions and see if 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 anyone has any question about uh, how we implemented that in details, and if would like to open more our Mautic to share how uh, we used all these these customizations basically what we did it was a way where anyone can can fill this form and that creates all assets necessary uh, landing page thank you page and all everything's necessary to run a webinar watch it's uh, for uh, new uh, mark users uh, they always ask me because they they thought Mark would be like Canva with many templates where you can copy and duplicate and things like that. Uh, and as soon as they realize Mark, you have to create all, all assets from scratch and things like that. So that creates, you know, every time that you need an, uh, uh, to promote a new event and you have to create all the assets again over and over again and create segments and all these steps so that was the way how we 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 suggested and how we created uh, in a way how to automatize our webinars thank you very much rodrigo uh, we are now opening for questions i posted a little message you can post questions on the chat or on the q a session uh, we already have a question here let me put it on stage so it's from madeline um uh, what is the function uh with the pipes in multic if the if the function of the pipes in multic is publicly available it is i have to I have to check with Louise exactly the GitHub address, uh, but it is it's it's something we've been developing for uh, a couple of months, and we would like to and we decided first understand with our clients how uh, they would use this this plugin, but it is I I just have to check with. Uh, Louise, uh, where it's the exact the link, but I I can send this this plugin, which is basically like any other uh, uh, Mautic plugin. You 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 install and then it appears here. Parchik uh, uh, here, Parchik pipes, and then you can create new pipes here, and also it has one option here important to say that can imp import from stages what i mean by that it's uh, for example if you already using mark stages 
you don't need, for example, to create a new pipe uh, uh, sequence. You can you can use your your stages. For example, if you have uh, a subscriber, uh, a prospect, a customer, then when you import, uh, let me create one here, sales funnel, import from stages. I can select which fields I would like to highlight in our card, like in a Trello uh, 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 format. Some currencies here, I would I will use uh, arrow here in arrow, and then save and close. And what's going to happen? Uh, well, what's happening here? Our plugin is importing all contacts that have stage and it's creating all the stage names a prospect stage that it's importing from multi stage and putting all all contacts that have any stage in their respective stage uh, so uh, just to clarify you can use together uh, connected to your current stage or you can uh, also create from scratch uh, a total new pipeline with independent columns and states that uh, 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 doesn't uh, uh, have anything related to to mark states. Yeah, but I, I will. <laughs> I think my my answer was uh, 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 a little bit uh, longer than then. But yeah, we will share with you, Madeleine, afterwards the our link to our repository. Thank you, Rodrigo. Uh, thank you, Madeline. Um, while we don't have any new questions, um, I have one question for you. Uh, considering this uh, process of building this um, webinar machine, as you called it, um, what were like? What would you highlight as two most difficult steps in in this? Because you said. Uh, we took a little longer building it, but then when it was done, you had the modules and all. What were the two biggest difficulties you had in this process? Well, I would say it's deal with CEO and deal with uh, all business uh, uh, needs, because basically when you decide and you say to everyone, hey, hey folks, let's stop uh, 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 publishing new content for i don't know two months one month and then then because we would like to automatize and improve our process of course deal with all this pressure and and stick to uh, this idea that's definitely for me the 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 biggest uh, uh, issue uh, in terms of uh, Tech, in terms of tech, I would say it's definitely uh, how to to uh, to uh, understand all uh, issues you will have in the future. Because basically, it's uh, we started with two or three fields, and now I think we have around fifteen uh, custom fields, and so. But it's some. I think I think it's when it's done. It's so nice. To see, you can delegate a, a basic a, a task to to anyone. So so, but I I would say from a tech a technical perspective, it's how to. Uh, one point was definitely because this edit to calendar button. I don't know who already implemented this button, but uh, it comes with all HTML in the URL. So, so we, we couldn't add this link in Mauric directly in a field because somehow was removing some code or doing some kind of uh, some kind of trim or, or cleaning. I don't know why exactly. Then that's why we decided to use Mauric assets even to this uh, uh, long URL, so we we first implemented implemented injecting this long URL directly in, in a field, and then 
in a mark field and then adding this URL in, in our HTML. But we, we uh, for some reason, Mark was cleaning the URL and when at, we added a new step to get this long URL, create an, uh, a new asset and use this asset, Mark asset in our email HTML. I think that was the, the the biggest concern overall, I think we we had it. Thank you. Um, we don't have uh, any more questions for now, so I'm going to go for a second one. Um, do you have any tips for managing those those assets uh, in Motic? Well, that is still an issue. Uh, we our automation basically is creating automatically many assets as soon as as soon as we have a, 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 a new webinar is registered here on webflow which is basically like we said it's a, a, a cms we, we register here and then that is it it starts a whole automation that creates also the Google uh, uh, button, the Outlook button, and the Zoom room link. And we don't have any other, uh, we we didn't implement it yet a way how to organize better here. It's just one one tier of information, one, one layer of information here. We created a, a couple of folders, but it's still, uh, I, 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 I can see how that will, will increase uh, in our next months with more webinars but uh, basically what we are using is basically folders and and some kind of naming to to quick access but it's far from the desired it's just our maybe our second iteration uh, uh, I, I I can forecast that that will 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 be bigger in the future for sure. Thank you, Rodrigo. Um, well, we don't have any more uh, questions on the chat yet, but uh, if you can, I will invite you to join the lounge so people can talk to you and exchange some uh, more ideas. And thank you very much for being here today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for all organizers it's a pleasure to be here and let's meet up in in our next room bye bye cheers bye bye folks